Welcome to 5 Minute School and in today's video we're going to be talking about the thyroid gland which you can see in the diagram here and to begin the video I'm going to first just talk about a few things which the thyroid gland is responsible for. The thyroid gland produces hormones T3 and T4 which are responsible for growth, development and determining the basal metabolic rate. It is located below the larynx and it has two lobes on either on either side of the trachea and it's the largest of all endocrine glands. The thyroid gland consists of spherical hollow sacs called thyroid follicles and they consist of follicular cells that synthesize thyroxine. We have parafollicular cells as well which se secrete calcitonin and the inferior surfaces of the follicles contain colloid which is a protein rich fluid. Now. The thyroid follicles accumulate iodine from the blood and secrete it into the colloid. Once iodine is in colloid, it is oxidized and attached to the amino acid tyrosine within a polypeptide chain of a protein called thyroglobulin. So if we have attachment of one iodine to, to tyrosine, we have monoiodotyrosine, otherwise known as MIT, and the attachment of two iodine to tyrosine leads to diodotyrosine, DIT. Now, two molecules of diodotyrosine equals thyroxine T4. If we have one molecule of monoiodotyrosine and one diodotyrosine, we have uh, triodothyronine or T3, and they are still attached to thyroglobulin. When they are stimulated by thyroid stimulating hormone, they are released from thyroglobulin. Now, calcitonin is also a hormone secreted by the parafollicular cells of the thyroid. Calcitonin works in, con in conjunction with parathyroid hormone, which is produced by the parathyroid gland, and it regulates calcium levels in the blood. So in the case of calcitonin, uh, it regulates blood calcium concentration, so in, it inhibits the dissolution of calcium phosphate crystals of the bone and stimulates the excretion of calcium in the urine by the kidneys.